This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Megas and Disney, y'all made a big mistake. Um, so, if you haven't heard, EA Electronic Arts, who has the license to create Star Wars games, has canceled yet another Star Wars game. Now, this announcement was made before the, um, before Episode 7, um, The Force Awakens came out, and everybody was very, very excited to know that EA was going to be bringing out a whole bunch of Star Wars games, they announced Battlefront, everybody was like, you know, just trying to imagine the potentials, there was like a game being made by Visceral, um, an action-adventure game, um, they made this whole big to-do about how they're working on all these Star Wars games. Well, now... I don't know what the hell they're doing because by canceling this open world uh, Star Wars game that was being made by I believe their Vancouver studio what's left what is going on I mean they shut down Visceral which completely canceled that game which Amy Hennig was working on uh, the co-creator of the Uncharted franchise um, What are y'all doing? Like, Disney, seriously, you need to address this. <laughs> like, take that license away from EA and go somewhere else. Spread it out if you need to. But this deal with EA seems not to be working out. Think about it. When we all were waiting for Battlefront, we were all very excited. In the first Battlefront, I liked a lot. Um, the second one, having played the campaign, the campaign was decent. Um, the gameplay is, you know still solid and all that but then EA starts with the monetization stuff and that soured that well so now the battlefront license is something that people aren't looking forward to because you, a battlefront 3 is probably not going to rate high to a lot of people after the like fiasco with the um, second one and all of the monetization that EA tried to put into it um, they've effectively done major damage to the Star Wars gaming license and Disney seems to um I don't I won't say Disney seems not to care but they've been pretty quiet about it maybe they're working on something in the background I hope they're working on something in the background because like I would be throwing a fit I mean I, yo, I would really, really be looking into any legal litigation that I can bring against EA for this. Because they're not delivering the goods. Star Wars as a franchise, um, even the bad games, it's one of those franchises that whatever it puts out, it could make money. But EA's not even putting out product. And the product that they put out has pretty much caused such a visceral reaction that... They have managed to make a franchise that prints money um, almost unable to print money in the video game realm because of them. Um, because of that EA logo now. That EA logo is going to drag down probably any product that comes out because EA has not been doing very well lately. Um, looking at like their history, the uh, Mass Effect Andromeda uh, fiasco, um, people like even go back Dragon Age 2 was one of those things that like set people off um again shutting down Visceral as a studio the people who made uh, Dead Space which if you look at the history of that franchise there was like um growing concern and decline in interest because of the quality of the games and how they took it the, the direction that they were made to take that franchise um yeah uh you know, the sports games, you know, even though they're still pretty popular because EA has a football license, Madden's not going to go anywhere and people like to play video game football, they're going to buy it just because it's the only show in town. Um, FIFA, uh, even though there's um, Pro Evolution Soccer, people still are very beholden to FIFA, so 
those maintain strength, but they still get a lot of criticism um, about their games. Uh, so, but especially again, the monetization aspects of it. Um, you know, EA right now, they're not looking good. They look like that company that has been voted before as one of the worst companies in the uh, world. <laughs> they. Like, at least from a gaming perspective, they just look god-awful. Like, I don't even understand, like, what's going on. And again, Star Wars license should be pretty simple to maintain. Um, and they're not doing it. And Disney's gonna have to find some other alternative because... This is getting out of hand with EA. And I hope, I hope and hope and hope something changes in the near future anyway as always feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and i'll hunt you later this your boy black makers and i'm out deuces